Welcome back to In Photoshop One. In this tutorial, we will create the power cord for our lamp using our sketch tool. If you are unsure of how to access Fusion 360's in program tutorials, please follow the provided link. Begin by going to the top ribbon menu, select Sketch Spline, and click to sketch on your YZ plane. Select the right face on your view cube and draw your spline like so. Press enter when finished. After doing so, each point will be given vector handles, similar to how it might appear in Illustrator. You may pull at these handles to edit the shape of your spline. When satisfied with your spline, click stop sketch in the top ribbon menu. Select construct plane along path and select your newly sketched spline. Drag the plane to the end of your spline with the blue arrow. Now from the top ribbon menu select sketch circle center diameter circle. Draw a circle that is 25 millimeters in diameter at the end of your spline. Select create and sweep from your top ribbon menu. Select the circle as the profile and your spline as the path. Set the operation to new body and click OK. Go to the top ribbon menu and select modify combine. Select the neck as your target body and the cord as your tool body. Set the operation to cut and check the box keep tools. At any time, if you are still unhappy with the shape of your spline, you may edit it by going to your sketch timeline on the very bottom. Right click on your sketch and select edit sketch. Click and drag on each point to edit the spline. When finished with editing your sketch, go to the top menu and select Stop Sketch. In your browser on the left, expand bodies and hide the visibility of your cord body. You may select the wall of your hole and right click to open Press Pull. Or you can always find Press Pull in the top ribbon menu under Modify. The offset command will be triggered. Enter the distance you would like to offset to. Repeat this step for the second hole. Now we may turn the visibility of our cord back on. This has been a presentation of the third in-program tutorial Fusion 360 has to offer. Please visit the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.